Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this tutorial on your own Windows operating system and I'll be showing you how to uh, install a new graphics card. Um, if you bought a new one and you don't know how to install it, you can do it yourself or you can have someone to do it for you. Uh, anyways, um, to do this, you can't just take out the graphics card right out of your computer if you don't know what you're doing. I will be showing you the, the steps very easily here in the process. Now before you do any of this, you have to be very precautious on what you do. Don't break anything when you open it up as I'm showing you the, the, the tutorial. Now before we install our graphics card, um, you must make sure that the chip type um, for the to insert it into the, the slot of your motherboard, make sure you know that it's compatible with your motherboard because there are two types. There's an AGP which is the older versions of uh, graphics cards, but who would have those? But just a tip for this video and a PCI, but there's two types of PCI Express kind of slots. So keep that in mind, make sure your graphics card is compatible. You will probably have to install some graphics card drivers. I suggest for you to get the drivers before, but if you bought a graphics card brand new, it should have a CD with the drivers. But if you have Windows 7 um, and you boot up your computer when you install the graphics card with this tutorial, um, it should be automatic just like that. Um, if you're using Windows Vesta, it'll probably do it automatically, but I haven't used Vesta in a long time. But with Windows XP, you're going to have to download the drivers. But of course, who doesn't have Windows 7? So let's get started. All right, before we restart our computer, we must navigate to our start menu, right click on computer, and click on manage. We will be uninstalling the graphics card drivers through this process. Once computer management pops up, click on device manager. And after you click on that, on the right side where all the list of drivers are at, hover over display adapters, and you should see your own graphics card. Right then and there, I suggest for you to uninstall it. Right click, then uninstall, and click on OK when this window pops up. After that's done, your screen should be flickering and then you have the plain old Windows 7 basic. So after that's done, you shut down your computer and unplug your computer plugs in the back. We'll be starting out with taking out the graphics card from your computer. I'll make sure you have it set up on a table. After that, you must have some tools, not too much, but of course you'll need a Phillips screwdriver or a flat screwdriver, and of course your own graphics card. Make sure it's compatible with your motherboard, as I mentioned earlier in the video. After you're done doing that, go to the back of your computer and you should notice two screws. Sometimes some computers have one. So for me, I'm going to take out the top screw and the bottom screw. So go ahead and take out the bottom and top screw once you have them both out. Go ahead and take off the side case of your own computer. You should see that little graphics card at the bottom left. Get your screwdriver ready and take off the screw that is there. Go ahead and put it in and make sure you have a good steady hand. Unfortunately, my arm was not working, but oh wait. Okay, yeah, we got this one right here. Ah, there we go. So after you get that screw out, go ahead and you should see a little lever at the top right. It's like a little booger you get out of your nose. Um, you pull that up. Most computers have a different kind of manufacturer with that, but you pull it up and pull out the graphics card. Get ready to get your own new graphics card. Unfortunately, my own has a heat sink, but who cares? Flip it around like the, the way the previous graphics card was and go ahead and insert your new one. After that's done, you should push it in all the way. Don't press it too, push it in too hard because you might uh, damage something. After that's done, you're going to get, have to get your screwdriver and your screw from your previous graphics card. Insert that little screw into that hole. Make sure to pick up your graphics card and go ahead and push it in, pull it up, make it a bit secure and screw it in. After you got, got it nice and good, close up your computer. After you put on back the case, go ahead and put on the screwdrivers on the back of the computer. After you're done putting on the case and start up your computer. Alright, once you start up your computer, um, just wait for it to boot in, and once you boot in, a window like this will say restart now or restart later. It will take a while for it to come up because you have to be connected to the internet and Windows 7 will recognize it. As I mentioned earlier, Windows Vista or Windows XP may do this, or you have to install the drivers and download it before you install your graphics card. But usually when you have Windows 7, it should say installing driver software, this window should pop up and it will show the driver name of your graphics card and then you just click on restart now 
in order for it to work with your arrow and visual effects. So after you restart your computer, the screen should be at the maximum resolution and everything should be perfectly fine. And that's it. If you want to have additional third-party software for your graphics driver, go ahead and get it at your own manufacturer of your own graphics card. This should be it from the tutorial on how to install your graphics card. And that should be about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and enjoy.